Okay, so we're going to talk about digestive structures for you today. So we're going to talk about the flow of food. So food goes in through your mouth, and then food's going to go through various parts in your mouth, and it's going to add salivary amylase to start digesting your food as soon as it enters your mouth. And then food's going to go down to your esophagus, and in your esophagus, you have, at the top of your esophagus, you have an esophageal sphincter, and at the bottom, you have an esophageal sphincter, which is basically a ring of muscle that's going to allow, um, when you swallow the food, for the food to stay in your esophagus and not come back up into your mouth. So you have mouth, and then you have esophagus. And the esophagus is usually flattened until food gets in it. It's like a snake eating a rabbit, and then it'll expand. So then food's going to go down your esophagus and it's going to go into your stomach. And then after it enters your stomach, it's going to go into your small intestines, which are going to be here. And if you look, you have duodenum, and then you have jejunum, and you have ileum. So if you look at those various parts, you have, sorry, you have duodenum here, and you have jejunum, and then you have your ileum, which are three different distinct sections of your small intestine. So after food goes through your small intestine, it's going to go through the ascending, colon, the transverse colon, and then down the descending colon, and then you're, it's going to go to the rectum, the anus. You have an internal and an external anal sphincter, and so then that's how it's going to exit your body.